So this is Jason D. Board from the Original Prop Blog, and today we're going to take a quick look at some upcoming auctions by Julian's Auctions in the month of November 2018. They've got a lot going on. This is like this huge stack of auction catalogs. So I just want to say up front as a point of disclosure, I do consulting work for Julian's Auctions. They're not paying me to do this. They don't even know that I'm doing this. They, they aren't that involved in paying attention to what I'm doing, but I just want to point that out just, you know, cause there can be conflicts of interest and things like that. Um, but anyway, they always send me all their auction catalogs. Some of this on the face of it, you might be like, okay, this doesn't apply to the original prop blog cause it's not film and television, but Sometimes there's things slipped into, in particular, rock and roll auctions that cross over into film and movies. So I'm just going to hit these really quick, just so you have an idea of what's coming up, just because I've got a giant stack. I may as well make note of all of it. So they have this Icons and Idols rock and roll auction coming up, which is actually a two-day auction, November 9th and 10th. Um, sometimes they have big celebrities and um, people involved in entertainment, film, television, rock and roll, personally um, consign things from their own collections. So they'll often break them out into their own separate catalog, even though it's all part of the same larger event. So that's the case with this, with um, Bernie Toppin. He was, um, or is, the partner and writing partner to Elton John. So there's things like, you know, music lyrics and awards and things like that. Um, so that's that part of the rock and roll auction. This is the larger catalog, which may have some interest to people who are not into rock and roll, but maybe film and television. As you'll see on the back, there's... Um, Madonna and Rosanna Arquette's jacket from Desperately Seeking Susan. So it's one of those crossover pieces. And I know there's also, um, not exact, I haven't gone through this catalog even once yet. So I'm not sure the layout, but there is also material from Prince from Purple Rain in here somewhere. Here we go. So, Prince's Purple Rain trench coat, you know, um, his motorcycle jacket from Purple Rain. So anyway, even though this is rock and roll, there there's always a chance there might be something in there that interests you. So that's why also when I do the calendar, I list rock and roll um, auctions, posters, some stuff that isn't dead on, you know, what we look at on the original prop blog, but you never know. Some, I have a lot of friends that collect from both. So this is um, property from philanthropist Milton Verrett. So this is a lot of rock star guitars. I know there's um, a Michael Jackson bad tour jacket in here. Bono stage played guitar. Um, yeah, here's that jacket. Julian's make really nice catalogs. I mean, this thing's beautiful. It's glossy. Beautiful photography, nice layout. Um, some of these are hard copies, hard covers. So they're cool, cool keepsakes. This is for their street and contemporary art auction on November 14th. Not really applicable to the original prop blog at all, but I love this stuff. I'm a big fan of um, Banksy and Mr. Brainwash, Invader. I would definitely recommend, even if you're not into this stuff, there's some really good documentaries about street art, like um, Exit Through the Gift Shop. Highly recommended. So this is what pertains most to the original prop blog. We've got their Icons and Idols Hollywood auction coming up on November 16th and 17th in Beverly Hills. This is a really big catalog. It's 265 pages. You know, this is typical of Julian's, like they always get really um, 
important Marilyn Monroe pieces. So like this is a dress from There's No Business Like Show Business. Really nice gatefold pull out just for this one piece. Um, you know, but they do tend to skew towards more vintage material, but like, you know, we've got the Mustang that was owned by Marilyn Monroe, which actually has a separate catalog in here as well. Big Lebowski pieces. Um, you know, so there is contemporary stuff in here as well. It's just, it's not like a prop store or profiles auction where there's just listing after listing of, you know, stuff from the 80s, 90s up to current day. It's, it's definitely skews more towards classic Hollywood. We've got Batman, Lord of the Rings, Dark Man, some old Marvel 12 cent comic books. Here's another gatefold. So this is, this is really what Julian's is about is this classic Hollywood stuff like this Jane Russell dress. So, you know, they make these beautiful catalogs. I mean, these are worth collecting on their own. So lots of interesting stuff. Like I always mention, if you're going to participate in an auction, make sure you go to the boring boilerplate stuff in the back. Check out all the terms and conditions. Sometimes there's things that might surprise you, you're not aware of. Things change, you know, auction to auction. So always make sure to check that out. Always make sure to check out the um, buyer's premium, which I believe Julian's, it changes based on the purchase price. Yeah, so the majority of them, it's 25%. That's everything with a hammer price of $100 up to $200,000. So um, be aware of that. And then I believe there's a premium also if you bid online. I think it's three, yeah, 3%. So, you know, if you're gonna participate, you can save a significant amount of money if you bid via phone or in person or, you know, proxy bid with them. So I always recommend that. So these are the three subset catalogs. This one is literally just for one item. It's for Marilyn Monroe's 1956 Ford Thunderbird. So, you know, they do a, an awesome job putting these catalogs together. Lots of information, lots of provenance. For this specific item, I believe there's, um, yeah, there's, there's a lot of information about this and what else is included, paperwork, lots of paperwork. So that's that. They also have um, from the family of Sharon Tate, they have property from the estate of Sharon Tate. This is a really nice catalog. Um, I actually took a peek at this one. It's really beautifully laid out. You know, it's tragic what happened to her, but, um, you know, they did a really nice job putting this catalog together. It kind of, um, it's a nice tribute for what, what she was and what she could have been, I think. So, um, beautiful catalog. And then this is property from the collection of Bob Mackey, who's, you know, one of the real famous, well-renowned, um, costume designers. And this all comes directly from his collection. So we've got costumes, sketches, and lots of costumes worn by stars like Carol Burnett. Um, Cher. Lots of share material, Elton John, Vicki Lawrence, Bernadette Peters, Diana Ross, Reba McIntyre, Pink, RuPaul. So anyway, really cool stuff. Um, I'm gonna forgo the online in detail look because I think we kind of just covered that. It's, it's, it's a lot of material. Um, you know, like I said, this is, this will be the auction that's of most interest to the original prop blog. And, um, you can 
look at all these catalogs in PDF format on their website at worldwideweb.juliansauctions.com. Can't believe I just said World Wide Web, but anyway, kicking it old school. Thanks.